Indiana, the coconut palm tree is the tree of life because of its important contribution to the nation's economy and food security. Dried coconuts are one of Ghana's major non-traditional exports, while bottled coconut water is also in demand both locally and internationally. Ethyl oil produced from coconuts was very popular until around the 1980s, when competition from exported oil, together with misleading information about the health hazards of coconut oil, resulted in a change in consumer preferences. Over the last few years, however, there has been renewed interest in coconut oil since its health benefits are widely publicized. In Guyana, there are three popular types of coconut oil, regular, refined, and virgin coconut oil. Small-scale home-based producers usually produce regular coconut oil for local community markets, while the refined oil is produced by larger operations on a commercial scale for local and international markets. The purest variety is virgin coconut oil and the right variety of coconuts is needed to produce the highest yield of the oil. There are two main varieties of the coconut palm tree in Ghana, tall and dwarf varieties. With taller five-year coconuts, the shell is of long in shape and produces the highest quality and quantity of virgin coconut oil. The dwarf or three-year coconut shells are more rounded in shape and are better suited for coconut water production. Select properly dried or mature 5-year coconuts because of their high oil content instead of 3-year coconuts, which also yield oil but not as much as the 5-year nuts. It is estimated that a batch of at least 100 mature 5-year coconuts produces 1 to 1.5 gallons of virgin coconut oil. When the husk is removed, the shell of the 5-year coconut is revealed and is usually oblong. The shell needs to be broken apart and the best way is to hit the nut in the area of the tree eyes, preferably on the larger eyes. Remove the coconut's kernel or meat from the shell. Using a knife is not recommended since you can injure yourself easily. Using an ordinary grater or an industrial grinder, grate the coconut meat until the pieces are fine. The grated coconut meat should never be left overnight but processed immediately. A straining mechanism is needed to extract the coconut milk from the grated coconut meat. Usually a barrel is used and a fabric which does not allow the grated coconut meat to pass freely is tied around the lid. The fabric should allow the washed out milk to freely flow into the barrel. Wash the grated coconut meat over the strain to extract the milk. Continue adding water and massage until the liquid is no longer milky but watery and the grated coconut meat feels flaky to touch. Continue the washing process until the entire batch of grated coconut meat has been washed. Leave the coconut milk for around 24 hours in the sun. At the end of the 24 hours, check the container for a top layer of coconut cream. During the fermentation process of the coconut milk, four layers develop. The top layer of cream, followed by virgin coconut oil, more cream, and the final layer made up of unusable water. The best time to begin the processing is in the morning so that the fermentation process gets the best sunlight. A good schedule would be to start early in the morning so that the washing process is done by 10 to 11 a.m. The extraction process can then take place at about 2 to 3 p.m. the next day. On the second day of the process, 
providing that there's been good sunlight, extract the first layer of tin cream in a stainless steel basin and place in sunlight for another day to get more virgin coconut oil. Below the first layer is the bulk of the virgin oil. Carefully extract the oil, strain and place in a stainless steel basin in the sunlight for another day. After which strain through a light fabric again then leave for 3 days before bottling. The third layer is also cream and is extracted in a stainless steel basin and left in sunlight for another day to get more virgin coconut oil. The first and third layers are low productive but do yield more oil depending on the quantity of coconuts processed. This cream can also be boiled to produce regular coconut oil. The fourth layer as mentioned is water. It has no use and is discarded. It is important to note that after washing the coconut meat, the fermentation process needs the heat to be completed properly and that is why it is placed in the sun. The milk can also ferment in a solar dryer. If there is no sunlight, you will not see the mentioned four layers and there will be no virgin coconut oil. What you will see is one thick layer of cream with a layer of water below. At this stage, the cream must be taken out and processed. There are two options when it comes to processing the cream. It can either be boiled to produce regular coconut oil, which also has a market, or the cream can be placed in a stainless steel container and placed in the sunlight the next day, and virgin coconut oil will be produced, after which it will pass through the stages mentioned before. Using this option, some cream will remain and this can be boiled to produce regular coconut oil. However, there is less virgin oil produced. To summarize, mature 5-year coconuts are needed for the production of virgin coconut oil. The shell is extracted from the husk and the coconut meat is extracted and grated into fine pieces and then washed with water over permeable material. The coconut milk extracted is left to undergo fermentation for 24 hours in the sun. Layers produced after fermentation should be placed in stainless steel containers. The first and third layers of cream are left in the sun for another day to produce more oil, while the second layer of virgin coconut oil is extracted and left in the sun for another day. Every layer is strained at least twice and once again before bottling three days after being removed from the sun.